Keyvokers. What up, guys? This is Keyvokers. Back here again with another achievement guide. Today we are going to be focused on One Night Stand. This is this week's Rattalack release. Overall, it is a pretty easy completion or platinum trophy. However, compared to most Rattalackas, it is not as easy. This is realistically going to take you about one to two hours. This game is a visual novel, and we are simply going to be choosing choices via the dialogue. The game has 12 different endings, and we are going to need to find all 12 different endings to get this full completion or platinum trophy. After you've ran through the game once and you've found your first ending, which realistically is like 10 to 15 minutes, after that, on future playthroughs, we'll be able to fast forward through the dialogue using the RB button. I believe on PlayStation that is R1. So you can hold that to fast forward through the dialogue after the first playthrough. That's definitely going to help us. Other than that, just make sure that you follow along and you're sure to get your full completion or platinum trophy. Alright, so this game's actually pretty funny. It's about a one night stand. You wake up naked next to a girl and you have to decide what you're going to do. Via getting these achievements, we are going to see a bunch of different scenarios. So at first when you wake up, you're going to have blurry vision. You need to grab your phone and your friend is going to text you. He's going to ask you what happened last night. For now, we're going to text him, so press yes. Next, you're going to realize that you're naked and that there's a woman next to you. So you're going to wake up and you're going to text your friend again. It's going to ask if you want to tell him about the girl. This time, we're going to go ahead and say yes. friend's going to text you back and he's going to ask for proof so it's going to ask you to take a picture of her for now we are not going to take a picture of her during intense times it's going to start like getting like a, a red border and it's going to give you some sort of a heartbeat that's how you know if a question is coming up all right so it's going to say, what should I do now? We are going to go back to sleep. You're going to wake up to her throwing the covers over your face. Apparently she freaked out. She threw the covers over you and ran out the door. So you're going to wake up. You're going to go to the right side of the room. You're going to interact with your phone. And then you're going to interact with your pants. Your pants has a punch card in it showing that you got five cocktails last night for the sandbar. Next we want to interact with the condom on the floor. At that point she's going to walk into the room. She's going to start talking to you again and you are going to say hey. She's going to say sorry for dashing out of the room like that. Now right now we can keep pressing A to skip through the dialogue quickly. However, if you keep pressing A, you'll end up, you know, pressing A on the dialogue accidentally and you'll have to restart this to get this ending. Um, this is really only going to happen to you in the first playthrough because during the next playthrough we'll just be able to hold the fast forward button and that will stop once it gets to a dialogue answer. Like right there, I accidentally pressed the dialogue quickly. Sometimes you're going to do that um, that answer was the time you need to ask her about the time and then you need to tell her that you feel pretty terrible She's going to ask you how she can help and this time we are going to choose coffee She's going to ask what type of coffee you like and this time we are going to choose black She's going to leave to go make you some coffee and you are going to have your second chance to look around the room so next, it's going to ask yourself what you think about her. This time, we're going to put that we think that she is nice. Next, we are going to look to the right side of the room. And we are going to pick up the flyer on the floor. This is the flyer for Paradox. It's another bar. Looks like we went bar hopping last night. So... After that, we need to interact with a pile of clothes on the upper left-hand side. And then she's going to walk into the room again. So right now, we're going for the Heading Separate Ways achievement. This is for getting rejected, so keep that in mind when you're looking at the dialogue. 
Um, right now, we're really not trying to, um, you know, have a second date with her or anything like that. So once the dialogue pops up, it's going to ask you if you remember what bar they went to last night. And instead of, you know, saying paradox, what we're going to do is say, I don't remember. Obviously, she's going to get turned off by this. She's going to start asking, what, like, you know, what do you mean you don't remember? You know, how much do you remember about last night? And it's basically, you know, going to make her feel like doo-doo. Next, she's going to ask you if you want to be filled in on what happened. You're going to say, please do. She's going to start explaining what happened last night. Okay, next, her doorbell is going to ring and we are going to have another chance to check out the room. Once she leaves, we are going to look on the right-hand side of the room and there's going to be some magazines on the nightstand. We need to interact with those magazines. After we interact with those magazines, next we are going to go to the center part of the room and we need to pick up your shirt off of the TV. It's on the bookshelf. After we pick up our shirt, she should walk back into the room. She's going to walk back in and she's going to say, sorry, that was just the mailman, that he was dropping off a package for her. And then she's going to say that she feels bad about having a one night stand and she's going to ask you if you've ever had one before. This time we're going to press no. She's going to start expressing that it's getting awkward again. And then she's going to ask what you want to talk about. This time we are going to choose to talk about us. So, we're going to talk about our hobbies. She's going to leave again. Basically, what's going on here is she had to go to the bathroom to puke. So, it's going to ask if you want to help her or not. This time, we're going to help her. Right when trying to leave the room, she's going to walk back in. She's going to express to you that she's not feeling well because she drank a lot last night. It's going to ask you what you want to do. This time, we're going to offer her help. She's going to tell you that she just needs to get some rest, and she's pretty much going to be kicking you out. Alright, so you're pretty much on your way out the door, and it's pretty much come down to where are we going to go from here. So you're going to select, I need to see you again. You are going to express that you didn't want us to end like this. And then this is where your boy is going to get rejected. She's going to say, what us? And then she's going to explain to you that she just wanted a one night stand. And your boy's going to get kicked out. Alright guys, so that's going to be our first ending and our first achievement or trophy should pop. That's an easy 35 gamer score. Should pop right after the dialogue once you get to the cell phone screen that shows you all of your endings. It kind of shows all of the endings in an Instagram style. This is where you could track how many endings you have reached. Once you reach all 12 endings, you are going to get a special message from your friend. Touch more on that later once we've got our 12th ending. It's going to be like the second to last achievement that we end up getting. So we have our first ending. So what we need to do is just go ahead and press B and we are going to start up a new game. All right. So next we're going for the caught achievement or trophy. This is for trying to leave without being seen, but we end up getting caught at the door because we can't unlock it. So for the first two answers, we're going to press no and then no again. All right, and then we're going to choose to get out of here. You're going to realize that she gets up out of bed. We're going to look on the right side of the room. We're going to pick up our pants. By default, it's going to show you the sandbar card again. Um, next, we're going to go to the center part of the room. We're going to take our shirt off of the TV, and then we're going to try to interact with the underwear drawer. She's going to come in, and then next we need to press hey. She's going to talk. Again, we could fast forward to the dialogue with LB now. Choose hangover, and then we're going to choose it's just a hangover. Then we are going to ask for nothing. She's going to leave. We are going to choose that she is weird. And then we're going to have a chance to look at the room again. We're going to look on the left side of the room. And then we are going to interact with the socks. We're going to find our underwear under the socks. 
and that's about all we need so we can press go home now it says that we can hear her in the other room so we're going to try to sneak right past her and this is where you uh, try to exit her house without being seen so what we are going to do is in effort to be caught we're just going to keep messing with the door keep interacting with things if if you happen to accidentally pick up the key just make sure not to put it in the door because again we need to get caught eventually you're going to get caught she's going to say what are you doing and this is going to give us our second ending and our second achievement or trophy all right there we go we got the caught achievement again that's the second ending so we're just going to go ahead and press b and we're going to start up the game once again so on this next playthrough we're going to be going for the no time to waste achievement or trophy basically we're going to be doing the same thing we just did last time except we're going to escape so answer no to the first two questions Next, we're going to press get out of here. Go to the right side of the room. Interact with your jeans. It's going to pop up the sandbar card. Next, we need to pick up the shirt off of the TV. And then we're going to go to the left side of the room. And you are going to grab your underwear from under the socks. Just going to walk in and we are going to press hey. The next dialogue will be for coming up with something to talk about. We are going to choose to talk about the hangover. And then next we are going to choose it's just a hangover. Next is going to be nothing. She's going to walk out of the room and then we are going to call her weird. After that, we are going to go to the left side of the room. Actually, sorry guys, we just need to uh, press go home. When you decide you want to try to leave her apartment, you can always press go home. So we're going to press go home and then now we're going to try to sneak out on her again. This time we're actually going to be able to get through the door successfully. So what happens is, is there's a key to the door and it's either in the purse, in the coat, in the little cup or um, under the note on the nightstand. So I would start off with pressing the little latch. It's literally a little switch uh, next to what is technically the knob. You need to make sure to unlock the door via that little switch. Um, most of the time the key is going to be in the coat. If it's not in the coat, it's usually in the little pink uh, teacup container right there. So just unlock it and then you need to press the knob to go through the door. After you've exited successfully, this will be our third ending and we are going to get our third achievement or trophy. That achievement was for leaving quickly with all of our clothes. We're going to start up a new playthrough, interact with your phone. This time we're going to press yes. And for the second question, we are going to press yes again. He's going to say that he doesn't believe you to take a photo for proof. You're going to take a photo and then you are going to choose to wake her up. Next, we are going to go to the left side of the room and we are going to interact with the pills. They're right next to the lamp. After that, we are going to interact with her wallet and press investigate. Interact with the yellow card in her wallet. It is her ID. After that, we could stop searching and then interact with the book. It's going to be a romance novel. We're going to read a little bit about it and it's going to uh, give you some choices on what you think about the book. This time, we are going to choose that it looks fantastic. All right, so now she's going to walk back into the room and we are going to say, are you okay? Next, it's going to start getting awkward again and we're going to have to choose a subject to talk about. So we're going to talk about the romance novel. It's going to mention that you've seen the book on her bookshelf. 
And she's going to mention uh, that she felt like it's trashy. And then she's going to start, you know, getting into the details about what she thought about the romance novel, yada yada yada. For the next subject, we are going to choose to talk about her. For the next dialogue, she's going to say that you don't look too well, and you are going to tell her, oh, it's just a hangover. Next, she's going to ask you if you need anything, and we are going to ask for some coffee. She's going to ask about what type of coffee you like, and this time we are going to choose fancy. This is going to net us an achievement for asking for some fancy coffee. That's a 20 gamer point achievement, dusting off the chair for ordering a fancy coffee. She's going to go to the kitchen and start making you some coffee and we're going to have another opportunity to look around the room. First, it's going to ask what we think about her and we're going to say that she seems nice. Okay, so now that we're looking around the room again, we're going to head to the left side of the room and we're going to interact with the little box that's above the lamp. We're going to press yes to open it and we're going to find some earrings. After you're done looking at the earrings, what we want to do is interact with the wine bottle. He's basically going to say, hmm, maybe this is how I got my hangover. Maybe the wine is the culprit. She's going to give you your coffee. All right, so next she's going to ask what you want to talk about, and we are going to choose to talk about the wine bottle. Basically, you're going to tell her that you think you got hung over off of the wine, and she's going to let you know, hey, you didn't drink any wine at all. She explains that she has the wine because she drinks a glass while reading a book before bed. When she asks you about what bar you met at, you want to choose Heartbeats Bar. You are going to tell her, at least I remember your name, that it's Lois. And she's going to say, what? How do you know my name is Lois? That's her government name, um, the one that we've seen on her driver's license. It's not the name that she actually goes by. She goes by Robin. So she ends up getting really creeped out because she found out that you went through her wallet when she wasn't in her room. So you get kicked out and then you get the achievement for the fourth ending. On top of getting the achievement for getting kicked out, we actually get a second achievement for getting kicked out with no clothes. So you should pop two achievements here. I believe it's going to give you two endings there on your phone. Alright, so in this next playthrough, we're going for that's a wrap achievement or trophy. This is for getting a literally a one night stand. So this is like where you're mutually parting both ways at the end. So... We're going to say no to the first two answers. And then once you um, get to the choice about what you want to do, we are going to choose to go back asleep. We're going to go to the right side of the room. We are going to grab our pants. It's going to show you the sandbar card again. Then we want to interact with the flyer. Go to the left side of the room and then interact with the romance novel again. This time we are going to choose to say that it's trashy. Once she walks back into the room, we're going to say, are you okay? The next dialogue option is going to be what to talk about. We're going to choose to talk about the romance novel. She's going to relate because you guys both think it's trashy this time. Next, we're going to ask about her. And then we are going to put, it's just a hangover. We're going to ask for some coffee. But this time we're going to ask for it white. This is how she likes it too, so we're obviously relating to her this time. We're going to choose that she is nice. We're going to head to the center part of the room. We're going to interact with the guitar and choose yes. She's going to walk into the room. She's going to ask why you're using her guitar. She's going to give you the coffee, and then we're going to choose to talk about the guitar, and then the musical style. The next dialogue is going to be her asking about if we remember where we met at. We're going to choose Paradox because that is the correct answer. We know that because of the flyer on the floor. Next, we need to choose There is No Need. Alright, so she's going to end up leaving the room again, and what we need to do is go to the right side of the room, and interact with the magazines on the nightstand. 
after you interact with the magazines, we're going to head over to the uh, center part of the room and interact with the mirror. After you interact with the mirror, she's going to walk in and we are going to press no on the dialogue. For the next dialogue, um, we are going to end up pressing my hobbies. And then next we are going to press help her. After that, we are going to choose to press continue conversation. She's going to express that she's not feeling too well. On the next dialogue, we are going to press no problem. And that is going to be the next ending. So here we just got the achievement or trophy for getting a basic one night stand. Mutually agreed. That's going to pop the achievement here. It's only 20 gamer points called That's a Wrap. That's why they call it a one night stand. So we got five of the 12 endings so far. We're going to start up another playthrough. This time we're going for the friend request achievement or trophy. This is for, you know, getting in the friend zone after the one night stand, mutually agreeing on just friends. So we're going to start off with answering with two no's. No for the first question and no for the second question. And then we are going to choose to go back to sleep. Once you're looking around the room, we are going to the right side of the room. We are going to pick up the pants. It's going to show you the sandbar card again. We are going to pick up the paradox flyer. We're going to go to the left side of the room and we are going to interact with the romance novel once again. This time we are going to choose that it is trashy. And then we are going to ask her, are you okay? For the next dialogue, we are going to choose to talk to her about the romance novel. Once again, you guys are agreeing on the fact that it's a trashy romance novel. Next, we are going to choose to talk about her. And then we are going to press it's just a hangover. And then coffee. This time we want it white. It's going to leave. We are going to say that she is nice. Once you are looking around the room, we are going to go ahead and look at the center part of the room. Grab the guitar. And yes, we want to play the guitar. She's going to walk in. She's going to get disappointed again because you touched her guitar. She's going to give you your coffee. We're going to choose to talk to her about the guitar and then musical style. Once again, she's going to ask if you remember what bar you met her at. This time, we want to go ahead and press paradox, which is the truth. After a few more dialogue, we are going to press there's no need. She's going to walk out of the room once again. We're going to go to the right side of the room. And we are going to interact with a stack of magazines on the nightstand. So let's head to the center part of the room. This time we're going to interact with the mirror. She's going to walk in. And we are going to press no. Alright, for this next dialogue we are going to press my hobbies and then help her. Continue conversation. And then for this final question, we are going to stay friends. Straight got friend zoned. Put her in the friend zone, yo. Savage. What a savage. Next, it's going to ask if you want her to be friends with benefits. We're going to press no. Denied. Denied. One night stand. Poor lady. She only got a sample. Alright, cool. So that's another achievement or a trophy for you guys. That is the friend request achievement for 35 gamer score. Should pop after the dialogue. There we go. Perfect. Looking like we have six endings so far. So we're going to press B, go back to the menu, and start another playthrough. 
You guys are going to be experts at one night stands after this, I promise. They should have just called it one night stand simulator. Anyway, start up a game. For the first two dialogues this time, we're going to be pressing yes both times. So for this uh, playthrough, we're going to be going for the in a twist achievement or trophy. I think this is one of the funnier endings. This is for getting caught wearing her underwear. So we're going to uh, press yes to both answers. And then we are going to take a photo and then choose to wake her up. Next, we are going to look on the left hand side of the room. And next, we want to interact with the panties. And then you are going to press take them. And then yes, you really do want to take them. All right, perfect. Now that you have grabbed those, next we want to interact with the pills next to the lamp. For the next dialogue, we want to go ahead and press hey. Now, I don't know if you guys realize, but we did not pick up our pants yet. So she's going to realize that you have her underwear on and she is going to get upset and she's going to end up kicking you out. Literally, like throwing F bombs. She's pretty mad. So, what you're going to do is press a memento that you are just grabbing them as a memento. Something to remember her by. <laughs> pretty hilarious. This is a pretty good achievement right here. I gotta give props to, to Rattalak on their last two games. They're going a bit out of the box. Gotta respect it. Alright guys, so that's another ending. Um, you should get your achievement or trophy after the dialogue. And there we go. We got 7 out of 12 endings so far. Okay, so on this next playthrough, we're pretty much going to be doing the same thing. Because there's another achievement or trophy related to taking her panties successfully. So doing it without getting caught. So what we need to do is pretty much the same playthrough. However, we're going to combine this with another achievement. There's an achievement for making the picture that you take in the beginning go viral. So what we need to do is press yes uh, for the first two answers. And then eventually it's going to ask if you want to take a photo. And then you are going to press yes again. So we're going to go ahead and take a photo. And then we're going to press A to snap a photo. And then we're going to wake her up. Alright, once you're looking around the room, we're going to head to the left side. We're going to interact with the panties. You're going to take them and then press yes. Now we need to head over to the right side of the room and pick up our pants. This is to cover up the panties so she doesn't realize this time. Next, we need to interact with the pile of clothes on the upper left hand side. And then this time we are going to answer with the triple dot dot dot. On the next dialogue, we are going to interact with another dot dot dot. And then we are going to press I'm all right. And then we are going to ask for nothing. Just going to walk out of the room and we are going to call her weird. So now we're going to head over to the center. We are going to interact with the picture. And after we interact with the picture, we need to go interact with the movie on the bookshelf. It is next to the TV called Love IRL. Advance through the dialogue and then we need to choose what we think about the movie. And we are going to choose that it is boring. All right, she's going to walk back in. And next we need to choose movie. We're going to talk to her about the movie. And she's going to ask if we've seen it. And we are going to say yes. But that it sounds pretty boring. She's surprised because she liked it. Next she's going to ask where we met. And we are going to press I don't remember. And then we need to press there's no need. Just going to head out of the room once again. We are going to head towards the center and we are going to interact with the makeup 
the cosmetics. Once you interact with that, you're going to interact with the laptop right in front of it. It's going to ask if we should look at the laptop. We are going to press yes. This is going to show us that her name, um, or at least the name that she likes to go by, is Robin. It is not the legal name that we found in her wallet. Someone's going to start messaging her on Facebook, so we're going to go ahead and exit out of her computer before we get caught. She's going to walk back into the room. And for the next dialogue, we are going to press forget it. After that, she's going to ask you if you've had a one night stand before. You're going to remain silent. Another dot dot dot. Awkward. And for the next dialogue, we are going to choose to talk about my personality. She's going to start mentioning that she isn't feeling good again. And she's going to leave the room. Once she leaves the room again, we are going to head over to the center and we are going to attempt to open up one of her drawers and then we are going to interact with the mirror. You want to check yourself out in the mirror, I guess. Weirdo. That's pretty funny, though. That's actually hilarious. <laughs> Oh man, whoever made this game has a pretty good sense of humor. Next, she's about to walk in and uh, stuff's about to go down. Basically, she's going to tell you that a friend just sent her a naked photo of her. And apparently the picture that we took earlier is going viral. She's mentioning that a bunch of people are sharing it on her Facebook. And that she has family on her Facebook. And pretty much guilt tripping us at this point. So basically, we're about to get kicked out but at least we got an achievement. After she's done venting to you, she's going to ask why you did it, and we are simply going to give her another dot dot dot. Silent, silent treatment. Pretty savage, yo. Man, they make us do some savage things for achievements. Her poor little AI heart. We are going to be unlocking two achievements or trophies right here. One for stealing her panties successfully for 30 gamer points. And then the going viral achievement or trophy for 20 gamer points. So that was 50 gamer points right there. We got an additional ending. You only get one ending. Uh, one of those doesn't actually have an ending. That's just one of the requirements to get the Chivo. So we're going to start up another playthrough. Next, we are going to be working on the Her Song Achievement or Trophy. This is for having her play the guitar at the end of the playthrough. So we're just going to start up another playthrough. And this time, we are going to press No on both entry dialogues. So just grab your phone, press No to both questions that your homie texts you. Alright, so no and then um next we are going to press go back to sleep after you wake up we are going to look in the center part of the room and we are going to look at the picture once again after that we need to head to the left side of the room and we need to interact with the socks to pick up our underwear all right, we're going to head over to the right side of the room, and next we need to pick up our pants. When she comes back in, just make sure that you press Are You OK? After that, we need to mention the photograph to her. So press Photograph. And then we are going to ask her if it's a relative. She's going to mention that it's just her big brother. Next, you want to ask her about her. After you select her, you are going to select I'm alright. And then you are going to select coffee. And we are going to request white coffee once again. And then we are going to say that she is nice. After that, we are going to head over to the center of the room. And then we are going to interact with the vinyls at the bottom of the bookcase. After you interact with the vinyl, we need to pick up our shirt off of the TV. 
After we pick up our shirt, we will be fully dressed. She's going to walk back in with the coffee. We need to select the vinyl collection. After we talk to her about the vinyl collection, she is going to ask us what club we met at, and we are going to select that we do not remember, all the way on the right hand side. Once again, she's going to get offended that we don't remember. We are going to press please do. She's going to start filling us in with what happened last night. Next, we need to press and then. She's going to continue ranting about the night. Once she leaves the room, we are going to head towards the center of the room again. We are going to interact with the guitar again, but this time we are not going to play it. We are just going to look at it. So um, after that, we are going to interact with the mirror once again. And then she is going to walk back in. And she is going to realize that we were messing with her guitar once again. We want to bring up the guitar and talk to her about it. She's going to mention that she got the guitar from her brother on a birthday. Next, we need to press request a song. Now she is going to start playing a song for us, and this is going to lead us to another ending and another achievement or trophy. This is the Her Song Achievement or Trophy for 30 Gamer Score. Again, after the dialogue, once you get to the phone, it should pop up. We're almost there, guys. We only need three more endings. I can see the finish line from here. So we're going to press B, and we are going to start up another playthrough. In this next playthrough, we're going to be going for two achievements or trophies. We're going to be going for one for leaving her in a moment of need. Basically, she's going to be puking at the end, and we need to ditch her when she needs our help. Once again, we're going to be pressing no at both of the uh, first dialogues. We're going to choose to go back asleep. The other achievement we're going to get during this playthrough is choosing to be silent whenever possible. So whenever or during the dialogue it shows the dot dot dot, we are going to choose that option. Make sure that you grab your underwear from under the socks, your shirt from on top of the TV, and your pants from the right hand side of your room. You just need to grab all three pieces of clothing right there. Once she walks back in, she's going to try to talk to you and you are going to give her the silent treatment. The three dots. And then during the next dialogue, we are going to give her the silent treatment once again. And then we are going to say, I'm all right. And then nothing. After that, she's going to leave once again. We are going to call her cool. And we are going to head to the left hand side of the room, interact with the romance novel. This time we are going to say that it is intriguing. We are going to interact with the panties. This time we want to leave them alone. During the next dialogue, we are going to press forget it. It's going to start getting awkward again. And then on our next dialogue, she's going to ask where we've met. And we are going to put that we do not remember. It's on the right hand side. So, um, you know, it's not going too well right now, not too much chemistry. So next you need to press there's no need. And then she's going to walk back out of the room. This time what we need to do is head over to the right hand side. We are going to interact with our phone. And then we are going to interact with the magazines on the nightstand. That's going to send her back in. We are going to press forget it. And then we are going to press the dot 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 once again. That is the third time we've given her the silent treatment in this playthrough. And that will net us the achievement for 30 gamer score. We're going to press my friends. She's going to walk back out. She's not feeling too well. We're going to press wait. And then we are going to press go home. So now we're going to be sneaking out while she's in the bathroom. So you're going to pass by the hallway. First, we need to press yes. We're going to pass by her. And pretty much what we're going to be doing is we're going to be ditching her while she's not feeling well. Once again, turning you into a savage just for some chivos. So we need to escape the door once again. If you don't find the key in the jacket pocket, make sure that you check the little pink container. You have to press down on the little uh, unlock switch. And then you have to put the key in the door. And then after you put in the key in the door, 
you can go ahead and press the knob to open it and escape. Once again, after the dialogue, you will unlock your achievement or trophy for this ending. So once again, we have reached another ending. That is our 10th ending and another achievement for 30 gamer points. We only need two more endings, guys. We're going to press B, go back to the main menu, and start up another playthrough. On this next playthrough, we're going to be going for two achievements, one for 35 gamer points and one for 120 gamer points. This is basically for relating to her on the DVD and the book that she likes. So we're going to go ahead and press no on both of the answers from your friend. After that, we are going to choose to wake her up. After she wakes up, she's going to leave the room as always. Go to the center of the room. This time we're going to interact with the movie on top of the bookcase. This time we're going to choose that it is interesting going to pop up with some dialogue after that we're going to head over to the left side of the room and we are going to interact with the romance novel once again this time we are going to choose that it sounds trashy however we are going to look at the diary underneath the romance novel and it appears that she is writing her own romance novel it's a hidden journal so just interact with that you're going to end up reading it. Press are you okay next. After that, um, for the next dialogue, we are going to go ahead and press, uh, let's see here, movie. So you're going to start talking to her about the movie. Um, as we said before, we had pressed that we thought it was interesting. So you and her are going to start vibing on the movie. This is going to unlock an achievement for 35 gamer score. Next, we need to start talking to her about her journal. So we are going to press her. And then we are going to press I'm all right. And then we are going to ask her for some coffee. And this time we are going to order our coffee white. So she's going to lead to the kitchen to make you some coffee. You are going to select that she is nice. We are going to go interact with the socks to grab our underwear. And then we are going to head over to the right side of the room and interact with our pants. Once again, it's going to show you the sandbar card. And then she should walk back into the room. Once she walks back into the room, um, we need to find an opportunity to talk to her about her journal. So let's see, um, romance novel. After you press romance novel, she's going to say that, you know, she thought that that romance novel was trashy. Once again, she's going to ask you if you remember where you met her. This time we're going to press that I don't remember. And then we are going to press please do. She's going to start filling you in about what happened last night. We're going to press OK. She's going to end up leaving the room once again. This time we need to pick up our shirt off of the TV. And then we need to interact with the books on the bookcase. It's going to tell you a bit about the books that she has. It's going to tell you that she's studying in university. She's going to come back in and we are going to talk to her about her notebook. And she's basically going to be like flattered and offended at the same time. The fact that you looked at her notebook, but that you thought it was good. And she's going to end up getting awkward again. And she's just going to want to change the subject. We're going to get an achievement for looking at her notebook and talking to her about it. This is the romantic type achievement for 120 gamer points. After you unlock this achievement, you can go ahead and press start and go back to the main menu. So on this next playthrough, we're going to be going for the pill seeker achievement or trophy. This is for accusing her of drugging us. This is going to end up getting us kicked out. We want to make sure that we get kicked out with all of our clothes on because that's an ending in itself. So what we need to do is go ahead and press yes to both texts. After you've said yes to both of Gary's texts, you are going to take a photo. And this time we are going to choose to get out of here. Alright, she got up again, 
Now what we need to do is make sure that we put on all of our clothes. So we are going to head over to the left side of the room. We are going to interact with the socks to pick up our underwear. Head over to the center of the room and pick up your shirt. Head over to the right side of the room and pick up your pants. After that, she should walk in and it's going to give you another dialogue option. You are going to go ahead and press hey. On the next dialog, we are going to press time, and then we are going to press I feel horrible, and then we are going to ask her for painkillers. Next you want to press that she seems cool, and then we are going to head over to the left side of the room and interact with the pills. After you interact with the pills, we are going to uh, put two and two together and pretty much you are going to come to the conclusion that she drugged you. So next we need to interact with the wine bottle and then she will walk in and hand you some pills. She's going to mention that she found some good pills for you, that they're really strong and that they should knock the hangover right out of you. Eventually it's going to pop up with another dialogue and we are going to bring up the pills to her. We're going to say that we noticed some pills on our bedside table and we are going to press hangover. So we're linking the two and basically um, she's getting the hint that we're accusing her of drugging us. She's going to find this very offensive and she's going to end up kicking us out of the room. However, we did get a Chivo. So that's another ending guys. We're going to get another achievement that pops after the ending dialogue. That's going to be the at least you can dress yourself achievement for 30 gamer points. Alright, so as usual, we're going to quit to the main menu and we are going to start up another playthrough. On this playthrough, um, this is actually going to be our quickest playthrough. This one is for, uh, I think it's called the run of shame. It's 30 gamer points. And this is for basically running out. So what we need to do is press no uh, to both of the texts from Gary. And then after that, we are going to choose to get out of here. Once she wakes up and she leaves the room, you are going to press go home at bottom. It's going to deny you multiple times, but after you press it a lot, eventually it'll let you leave and you're going to decide to just run out of there butt naked. That's going to give you the achievement or trophy run of shame. That is 30 gamer points. That's pretty funny. Again, that's another funny achievement. Just running out of there butt naked. No confrontation. What a savage, yo. I swear. This game's turning us into a savage. Alright, guys. We are approaching the finish line. One more ending. We are going to start it up. And this time, we are going to... Before we get our last ending, we're going to mop up two miscellaneous achievements real quick. Go ahead and press no to both of Gary's texts. This time we are going to choose to um, go back to sleep. After that, we are going to head over to the left side and we are going to look into the wallet. We are going to press investigate. You want to make sure that you interact with all of the cards except for the yellow card, which is her ID. Make sure that you interact with all of them. I believe there is one, two, three cards on the right hand side and two cards on the left hand side. I ended up uh, missing the pink credit card. I just skipped it, but I, I ended up going back at the end of the game. So make sure that you guys get that one. There's a little pink credit card, um, the middle card on the right hand side. Don't forget that one. Um, after you have interacted with all five cards, go ahead and interact with the sixth one, which is her ID. After this pops up, it's going to pop up with a dialogue. Once the dialogue pops up, what we want to do is go ahead and press start and save our game. This is the first time we're going to use the save feature to get an achievement. So once the dialogue pops up, just go ahead and press start. So go ahead and press save. We're going to put it in empty slot one. And then now we can go ahead and answer the question. So we're gonna guess Lois, which is the first answer available. That's going to give you an achievement for 120 gamer score. And then next we need to quit and load up that same save.
So we'll just go down to load game, load up the first slot, press yes, and this is going to put us right before we answer lowest. This time we're going to answer neither. That's going to pop another achievement for 30 gamer score. That's a rose by any other name. So now that we got those two achievements, we can go ahead and press start, go to the main menu. We do not need to finish that playthrough. Now we are going to be going for our final ending. As usual, go ahead and start up a new playthrough. For this one, we are going to be telling Gary no on the first two texts. And when you get to the next dialogue, we are going to choose to wake her up. Once you are in the room, we are going to head over to the center and interact with the DVD. We're going to choose that it is interesting. We are going to head to the left hand side of the room and we are going to interact with the socks to put on our underwear. Now we need to head over to the right side of the room. We are going to interact with the pants to put the pants on. After she walks back into the room, we are going to press are you okay? And then on the next dialogue, we are going to select movie. On the next dialogue, we are going to choose to talk about her. And then um, on the next one, we are going to choose I'm alright. And then coffee. This time we are going to ask for white coffee. She's going to leave once again, and we are going to choose that she is nice. Next, we are going to head over to the left side of the room, interact with the romance novel once again. We are going to choose that it is trashy. We are going to go over to the right. Once we're at the center, we are going to pick up our shirt off of the TV. Once she walks in, we are going to choose to talk to her about the romance novel. Once again, she's going to end up asking you if you remember where you met her last night. This time we are going to select I don't remember. For the next dialogue, we are going to press please do. And then on the next dialogue, we are going to press and then. Once she leaves the room again, we are going to head over to the center and we are going to interact with the vinyls in the bookshelf. After that, we are going to interact with the mirror. After you interact with the mirror, she should walk back in. We are going to bring up the vinyl collection to her. And then we are going to press for a nice time or to a nice time, sorry. Um, after that, she's going to start talking about her vinyls and about how she enjoys collecting them, yada, yada, yada. And eventually it's going to pop up with another dialogue option and we are going to end up pressing no. After that, it's going to pop up with another dialogue option and we are going to press my hobbies. She's going to leave and we are going to choose to help her. After that, um, we are going to choose to, um, once again, offer her help. Once again, this is going to come down to, hey, where do you want to go from here? And you are going to press stay friends. And that's it for the dialogues in this playthrough. You are going to end up getting an achievement for 30 gamer score called True Friends. This is for honesty is the best policy. And then after that, we have all 12 endings, guys. And like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, there is a special uh, Easter egg achievement. Once you unlock all 12 endings, you'll have a text message notification on the bottom right hand side of your phone. You need to go to the text message notification and once you highlight it you can press it and this is going to be an additional text from gary and this is going to unlock another achievement or trophy now that we have all 12 playthroughs we should only have one more achievement or trophy yep that's the true detective achievement that's for investigating every item in the room pretty much at this point we've uh touched or investigated every item in the room um, I was only missing two items when I did this. I needed to interact with a teddy bear that's next to the TV. 
and then like I mentioned earlier I had missed one of the cards inside of the wallet so what I recommend doing is just um, pressing A through all of the dialogue it doesn't matter which ones you press um, in this playthrough we just need to get to the point where we're looking around the room once she leaves the room we need to head over to the center of the room the teddy bear is right next to the TV just make sure that you interact with it next we need to head over to the left hand side of the room after we do that we can uh, just make sure that we interacted with all of the cards in the wallet press investigate and make sure that you interact with all six uh, items inside of this wallet the achievement or trophy won't pop until she walks back into the room, so just interact with one more item and that will trigger her to come back. Once she comes back, you should get your True Detective achievement and you should have another completion or platinum trophy. As always, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If this video helped you out, please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe.